Hello guys, it is Gate of Theories here, and if you are a long-term viewer of this channel, you'll probably know that we used to make Doctor Who videos all the time on this channel, and you might be saying to yourself, if you are a viewer of this channel, uh, then why is there no Doctor Who videos on your channel at all? And the main reason for that is because the BBC who makes this show, they're not very nice on YouTube and copyright and all that sort of stuff, but to put that aside with... Today we are back talking about one of my favourite shows, Doctor Who. And if you are a fan of this show, like lots of you out there are, uh, you've got to be prepared for a lot. Because this show has been going on for well over 50 years now, that is a long time, starting in 1963. And there is so much content of the show. If you call yourself a Whovian who is one of the fans of the show, you've got to be prepared not just to watch Doctor Who, but everything. The entire universe, all of it, because it is so big. And sometimes I always think to myself, how on earth could you watch every single bit of Doctor Who and just get it all right in chronological order? What is canon? What isn't canon? What would you class as canon? Uh, how would you get the best Doctor Who experience so that you know every single thing about it? And very soon it just becomes so complicated because not only do you have the classic era of Doctor Who, as beginning in the 1960s and ending around the 1980s time, but you also have the modern era of Doctor Who, which is the one that we're all used to today, and that has several spin-off TV shows, don't even get me started, you've got Torchwood, The Sarah Jane Adventures, you've got that class spin-off show, even if you try and think that it doesn't exist, it's still technically classed as canon, and then there's all the Big Finish uh, audiobooks, not just the TV show, you've got animated, uh, you've got books, you've got so much, this universe is just absolutely huge. And there's so many times where I come to think, how on earth can you watch all of this and like get it in chronological order so that it all makes sense? So today we are going to try and work out how to do that. We are going to not look at any of the classic stuff because we'd be here all day if we were doing that. We're not going to count any of the big finish stuff or audiobooks because again, we'd be here all day for that. We are just going to count on the main TV shows and occasionally little mini episodes from that TV shows, occasionally little animated stuff, basically stuff that you can see all the way right from 2005 when the show restarted up till present day and we are going to try and create a chronological timeline including all the Sarah Jane episodes, all the tortured episodes, all the class episodes and lots of mini episodes and mini storylines that have been scattered around and see whether we can create one concise chronological timeline so that you can experience how it used to be like when you were watching it live for the first time and see whether following the show in this sort of way if you're wanting to re-watch it might change your opinion on certain things because these things like they cross over all the time there's even an episode at the end of season four called journey's end where the characters from sarah jane the characters from torchwood and the characters from doctor who all cross over together and trying to watch it in a chronological order where it makes sense in all three shows is way easier said than done so let's try and get on and do this but before going any further please make sure that you click the red subscribe button down below and have your notifications turned on <laughs> Okay, so let's start right at the beginning of the modern series and let's see which one we will start with so that we get this chronological timeline right. Now technically the first episode that you need to watch is the mini episode for the 50th anniversary special, The Night of the Doctor, where we see sort of the transition between the classic series into the modern series. You see the 8th Doctor regenerate into the War Doctor, which will later be used. Technically after that you could then watch like the 50th special but it might not make that much sense so i'd probably watch like a little clip of where john hurt is about to regenerate into christopher eccleston so that we get like introduced into this new modern era then of course it just runs as normal because the universe was only just restarting there was nothing really big happening so you just watch doctor who series one if you want to watch it like how you would have done in 2005 you would then watch the series one confidential then you'd watch the 2005 Children in Need special, Born Again, which basically gives a reason for why the TARDIS is crashing in the Christmas Invasion, which of course is the next episode. Then you'd need to watch uh, the mini episode Attack of the Grask, which is the first episode where they introduced the Grask. So it's adding a few more bits into this whole timeline and not just looking at the main TV show. And then you would watch series two. 
except from every episode in series 2 actually has a mini episode before known as TARDIS Odes. And what you need to do is, if you're wanting to watch it full chronological timeline, you'd need to watch every single TARDIS ode before you watched each episode in series 2. Then of course you'd watch series 2 Confidential, then The Runaway Bride, and then this is where it now gets complicated, because we've had around three years of Doctor Who by now, and now lots more characters have been established, the finale of season 2 where Tortured has just happened, and now the brand new spin-off show Tortured has just been released. Now this is where it gets complicated because we are entering series 3 and if you're a Whovian you know that series 3 ends with the master three-parter and Captain Jack coming in. However, Tortured season 1 ends literally just before the three-part finale of Doctor Who because the two scenes basically work in the exact same time. So we have to try and make sure that we've seen all of Tortured season 1 while watching uh, Doctor Who series 3 to get it matching up correctly. So I've done it like this. After The Runaway Bride, you then watch Tortured Series 1, Episodes 1 and 2. You get introduced to Gwen Cooper. Then you have to watch the Sarah Jane Adventures Invasion of the Bane New Year's Day special because at the same time in 2007, Sarah Jane Adventures was first becoming a TV show as well. Then Tortured Series 1, Episode 3 and 4. Then Doctor Who Series 3, Episode 1, where you first get introduced to Martha. Then Tortured Series 1, Episode 5. Then Doctor Who Series 3, Episode 2. Tortured Series 1, Episode 6. Doctor Who Series 1, Episode 3, and so on, until you get to Tortured Series 1, Episode 7, and then Doctor Who Series 3, Episode 4 and 5, which is the Dalek 2-parter. Then there is actually an animated special called The Infinite Quest, which is where Martha officially joins the TARDIS after Episode 5. So if you're wanting to watch the Doctor's timeline chronologically, you'd have to watch that animated special as well. Then Tortured Series 1, Episode 8, then Doctor Who Series 3, Episode 6, then Tortured Series 1 Episode 9, Doctor Who Series 3 Episode 7, you're seeing where this is sort of going, then Tortured Series 1 Episode 10, then Doctor Who Series 3 Episode 8 and 9, which is the Family of Blood 2-parter, then Tortured Series 1 Episode 11, then Doctor Who Series 3 Episode 10, which is Blink, and then finally you would watch the finale of Tortured Series 1, the 2-parter, just in time for it to fit up with episode 11 of series 3 of Doctor Who uh, where you see Jack at the end of Tortured running off here in the TARDIS and then right at the beginning of series 3 episode 11 Utopia you see him running to the TARDIS when the Doctor and Martha land in Cardiff. So it's really complicated that area that's probably the most complicated part of the trying to watch it in actual chronological timeline but it does work. Then, of course, you'd finish Series 3, Martha would leave, and you'd see the Doctor Who Time Crash mini-episode, which basically is where the 5th Doctor comes to meet the 10th Doctor, and Russell C. Davies had said that this is actually canon, just because it fits up with Voyage of the Damned, which of course is the next episode that you watch. Then, if you're watching in real time, you'd watch Doctor Who Series 3, Confidential. Now let's move on to Sarah Jane Adventures. You'd then watch Revenge of the Slidine. Then you'd move on to Tortured Series 2, Episode 1 to 3. Then Sarah Jane Adventures, Eye of the Gorgon. Then Tortured Series 2, Episodes 4 and 5. Then Sarah Jane Adventures, Warriors of Kudlak. Until finally you end up with Doctor Who Series 4, Episode 1 to 3. And this part is important as well because... I like to call this part like the Martha era because we've just seen Martha in Series 3. And these next few episodes all contain Martha. So after you've seen Doctor Who Series 4, Episodes 1 to 3, you then need to make sure that you have seen that Martha is part of Unit now. So you need to watch Tortured Series 2, Episodes 6 to 8, which is where Martha is in Tortured. Then you can watch Doctor Who Series 4, Episodes 4 to 6, which is where Martha calls the Doctor from Unit to come in to help her with the Centaurans, and she ends up travelling with the Doctor for one more story. So, that's kind of complicated, but if you get it just in that order, then you can watch it in the right order. Then, Sarah Jane Adventures, Whatever Happened to Sarah Jane Smith. Then, Tortured Series 2, Episodes 9 and 10. Then, Doctor Who Series 4, Episodes 7 to 9. Then, Tortured Series 2, Episode 11. Doctor Who Series 4, Episode 10. Rounding up nicely because we need to make sure that again, Torchwood Series 2 finale has finished before Series 4 finale because again, like Series 3, they end up very close to each other. So then you'd watch Torchwood Series 2 Episode 12 and 13, which is where 
Toshiko and Owen would die because then you get one of the biggest crossovers of all time. Apparently, it was the biggest crossover until the Avengers back when it came out, which you get the turn left and Stolen Earth and Journey's End three-parter at the end of Series 4, where we have managed now to make sure that Sarah Jane Adventures comes into Doctor Who, Tortured comes into Doctor Who, and you're still watching it all in the same order, so that everything is still making sense. Then after that, you'd watch Series 4 Confidential, and then you'd watch the finale of Sarah Jane Adventures Series 1, The Lost Boy. Now, you may be wondering why that didn't come before Series 4, simply because the Mr. Smith that is in Journey's End is actually the bad version of Mr. Smith, which of course gets resolved in The Lost Boy. Now, that is probably one of the most complicated times in Doctor Who, David Tennant's era, but it's still not done yet. Then, if you really want to go much further, you'd watch the mini-episode Music of the Spheres, where the Doctor writes a song, and that was for the Doctor Who at 2007 Proms. Then, you would watch Sarah Jane Adventures Series 2, Episode 1, The Last Centauran, where it would link to the Atmos episode in Series 4. Then, this is David Tennant's specials now, so these are all over the place. You get Doctor Who, The Next Doctor. Then, Sarah Jane Adventures Series 2, Episodes 3 to 10. And then, you would get Doctor Who, Planet of the Dead. Then, during all this, you need to do Torchwood, Children of Earth. And, of course, since this takes place over a five-day period, you just watch them day one to day five. Nothing in between. Then, you get Sarah Jane Adventures Series 2, Episodes 11 and 12 to finish it. And then you'd get the Doctor Who Dreamland animated special, uh, which would come between them. And next, you'd get the comic relief mini episode for Sarah Jane Adventures to finish off season two from Rex Corco Falipatorius with Love. And then we finally get to a moment where the Doctor is about to come into Sarah Jane Adventures. We've just finished series two and we're in the middle of the David Tennant specials. Now, I wasn't sure whether to put the wedding of Sarah Jane Smith before the Waters of Mars, before the Doctor sort of went a bit mental. But then I watched the Waters of Mars and at the very end he does say when he thinks, is this my time over, am I about to die? He just says no, and like, you can tell he's going off to go and do something. So I reckon he went off to go and see Sarah Jane and the others. So you would watch Doctor Who, The Waters of Mars, then you'd watch Sarah Jane Adventures Series 3, uh, Episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, so that you've seen uh, the Doctor come into the wedding, and that fits up nicely, because at the end, the Doctor of course says, don't forget me, Sarah Jane, hinting at the fact that he knows he's about to die. And of course, the next episode you watch is Doctor Who, The End of Time, Part 1 and Part 2. David Tennant's era is finally done, and it's probably the most complicated era there is, but it's not finished yet. Then you would watch the Doctor Who, David Tennant specials, Confidential, if you wanted to watch that. Then the end of Sarah Jane Adventures Series 3 and finish that. Then it would be the Doctor Who Proms 2008-2009. And finally, we've reached to Matt Smith's era, where you'd watch Series 5, Episode 1. And then you'd need to watch Meanwhile in the TARDIS Part 1, which takes place just before Episode 2. 2 from series 5 and if you want to know where to find that you'd find that in the series 5 dvd box set or blu-ray box set then you would watch series 5 episodes 2 to 5 and then after that you would watch meanwhile in the tardis part 2 which takes place just before episode 6 which you'd watch next then we need to make sure that series 5 is finished so that it ties in with Sarah Jane Adventures. So after episode 6, you'd watch The Nightmare Man, the first episode in season 4 of Sarah Jane Adventures. Then you'd watch Doctor Who series 5, episodes 7 to 11. Then Sarah Jane Adventures, The Vault of Secrets. Then Doctor Who series 5, episode 12 and 13, The Pandorica Opens and The Big Bang. So that Amy and Rory are married and they're living off without the Doctor just for a little bit. So that the next episode you watch is Sarah Jane Adventures, Death of the Doctor. So that it makes sense that Matt Smith would say that he's travelling around with a married couple. And of course they meet Joe Grant again. Then you've watched Series 5 Confidential. Then we move on to Series 6 where we get Night and the Doctor, Bad Night, and Night and the Doctor, Good Night, which is two mini episodes found in the Series 6 box set before you watch any more of Series 6. Then you'd watch the Christmas special, A Christmas Carol. Then you'd finish Sarah Jane Adventures Series 4. Then you'd watch the mini episode from Doctor Who, Space and Time, where the TARDIS basically appears inside the actual TARDIS. 
And then we finally make it on to series six. And there's lots of prequels in series six, like there are in Matt Smith's era. So you've got to watch all of these. So you'd watch the Impossible Astronaut prequel first, then series six, episodes one and two. Then you've watched the Curse of the Black Spot prequel, then series six, episodes three to six. Then you've watched a Good Man Goes to War prequel, and then actually a Good Man Goes to War. And then this is around the time where Torchwood Miracle Day happens. And of course that all happens like one after the other. So you just watch episode one to 10 and just complete it and Torchwood's over with. And then you'd watch Doctor Who Let's Kill Hitler prequel so that you can then watch Doctor Who series six, episode eight to 11. Then watch Night and the Doctor Up All Night found in the series six DVD box set. Then series six, episode 12, then the Wedding of River Song prequel to then watch the series six finale, The Wedding of River Song. Then you'd watch Death is the Only Answer, which is a confidential mini episode. And finally, series six, confidential. And to end series six, you'd eventually finish with Night and the Doctor first night, found in series six DVD box set, and then Night in the Doctor last night. Wow, this is getting really, really complicated, but don't worry, it's gradually about to start becoming less and less complicated. We just gotta get past the 50th anniversary special. So after series six, you'd then watch Sarah Jane Adventures series five, episode one and two. Unfortunately, the last ever season of Sarah Jane. Then The Doctor, The Widow and The Wardrobe prequel, because of course series six is full of prequel episodes. And then The Doctor, The Widow and The Wardrobe actually Christmas special. Then there was a Blue Peter mini episode if you want to class that as canon, which is called Good as Gold, which you'd watch around here. And then of course you have all of the series seven Pond Life prequels, which is basically what Amy and Rory got up to before they met the Doctor in Asylum of the Daleks and shows Amy and Rory unfortunately about to divorce and Amy kicking Rory out. So that it sets up nicely for series seven, episode one, Asylum of the Daleks, the beginning of series seven. Then there is a mini episode called the Inforium, which is again is found in the series seven box set. Then series seven, episode two, then the making of the gunslinger prequel, which takes place just before series seven, episode three. So that it gives you some background to this new villain that we're going to have. Then you move on right to episode five, where unfortunately Amy and Rory die. Then there is a brilliant mini episode, which was meant to actually be filmed properly, but instead it's just drawn out. But it does involve Arthur Darville's voice, which is called PS, which explains to Brian what happened to Amy and Rory and how they unfortunately died and got sent back in time by the Weeping Angels. Then, unfortunately, you get Sarah Jane Adventures Series 5, Episode 3, the final episode of the Sarah Jane Adventures, unfortunately, because Elizabeth Sladen has died. And if you're a fan of the Sarah Jane Adventures, you'd probably, after that, since you've just seen all of that TV show, you probably want to end it with Goodbye Bannerman Road, remembering Elizabeth Sladen, which is basically set a year after Series 5 was filmed and a year after Elizabeth Sladen's death, where all the actors come together and talk about what they were doing, and it involves people like Matt Smith. Then you have finished Series 7 Part 1, and you need to watch the rest of Series 7. Now, there is two prequels to The Snowmen. The Great Detective and Bastra investigates, all leading up to the Christmas special, The Snowmen. Then Series 7, Episode 6 prequel. Then Series 7, Episode 6 to 10. And we're entering now the 50th anniversary special era. So we get the mini episode Clara and the TARDIS, which would take place just before episode 11. Then you'd watch series seven, episode 11. Then there is a mini episode, a hyperspace body swap ticket in the 2013 BBC proms. If you want to have a full recap after that, the ultimate guide, the 50th anniversary came out around that time. So if you want to watch it, like how it came out in real time, you'd watch that. And along with that, an adventure in space and time which of course stars david bradley came out around that time then again this is where it's going to get a bit complicated you get doctor who series 7 episode 12 then a mini episode called he said she said after that then clarence and the whisper men another mini episode then series 7 episode 13 the name of the doctor of course we know that one and then if you want to watch it again, you could watch The Night of the Doctor. We placed that at the beginning where the Eighth Doctor regenerated into the War Doctor. It, since technically you've only just been introduced to the War Doctor, then you could re-watch that one. But yeah, it depends on where you want to place that one. Then we get the last day uh, mini episode and then eventually the 50th anniversary special, The Day of the Doctor, which by this point, you've basically seen 
so much Doctor Who, you've probably forgotten what the War Doctor was. Then, of course, you get the Christmas special The Time of the Doctor, and Matt Smith has now regenerated into Peter Capaldi. And you'd think it would get more complicated, but unfortunately, after the 50th anniversary special, it sort of just goes downhill. There's not really any sort of spin-off show that really cross over at all. It gets quite simple from now on. You then have at Series 8, you then have Last Christmas, there is the Magician's Apprentice prequel mini-episode and the Doctor's Meditation prequel mini-episode that you watch before Series 9, but then you watch all of Series 9, then the Husbands of River Song. then in between that there is the Class spin-off show, now you can say what you want about that, personally I really like it and was really upset that I didn't get another season, but either way it is still technically canon so if you are wanting to watch the full Doctor's timeline he does appear in the first and last episode of that series and he's just forgotten all about Clara so that would take place here. Then you'd watch the Christmas special The Return of Doctor Mysterio. If you want to remember what it was like back in 2017 there was a Sarah Jane Adventures 10 year anniversary reunion special called The Attic and there is a Blu-ray and DVD version of that if you wanted to get hold of that but it's not uh, part of the actual story it was just a thing that they did afterwards. Then you'd get Doctor Who Friends from the Future which takes place technically during series 10 episode 1 and it was basically a teaser to show Bill as a new companion and it takes place during the pilot episode where they're running away from the Daleks. Then you'd watch all of series 10, then Twice Upon a Time, then series 11, Resolution, series 12 and then you get all of these lockdown animated specials which take place with Jodie Whittaker's Doctor looking back at past things and there you could technically say where you want to put them in the timeline but it's just it's too complicated to work out where these lockdown specials go so i'd just watch them straight after everything else and then finally you'd then watch the farewell sarah jane uh, which was another lockdown special and finally after you've watched all of that you have watched every single bit of canon in Doctor Who the modern series not counting any of the audiobooks but just counting things that you can watch you will have watched every single thing and you will definitely be up to date and you will have watched them in some sort of chronological timeline that does make sense. Wow that honestly took forever to just even think about and to go and actually watch it it will take you a while but if you want to be a full Doctor Who fan and watch it all over again and make sure that you get it all in the right order so that you get all of these crossovers to happen all in the right order and all of it being canon then you need to watch it in this order. But anyway guys, that is the end of the video, I hope you have enjoyed it, if you have, make sure that you smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tell us in the comment section down below if you think we got this order right. Do you think you'll ever watch the show in this sort of order? Do you even watch any of the spin-off shows? Or do you just watch the main TV show by itself? That's perfectly fine. Make sure you leave your thoughts all down there in the comments and whether you have any other suggestions of other orders you could do. Maybe you don't want to just do a chronological order. Maybe you could do a River Song order. That's always an interesting one. Or a certain character's order. Or just something different. Make sure you leave all your thoughts down below. And also, while you're down there, why don't you tell us whether you think Doctor Who should get more spin-off shows. I really hope they do one with the Reese Doctor because that would just be amazing and let's hope she's not a past version of the doctor and hopefully a future version because otherwise well yeah we're not going to go into that in this video but you all know what i mean but anyway guys i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you guys later